Hey guys, KD24. I'm here with uh, Logo Folk and our special guest Kevin Garrett today. And hey, we are gonna be, uh, there he is. We're going to be commentating uh, his tour finals match against Enzo on the season 12 tour. He played DPOU with Enzo. And your thoughts on the match, real quick, before we start? Uh, well, it was kind of a boring game, but uh, I got the chance to use the stall team, which I love. Well, I think that's why it was boring, but uh, continue. Yeah. Uh, he kind of had like a random team. I think he was just like trying to test out some stuff. Like right here, you'll see he has a uh, shaman. And it had growth on it. Yeah. You don't really see a uh, growth on shaman too often. Yeah. So it was basically just offense versus uh, stall. So I want to thank KG for coming on with us, and let's get the battle started. All right. So the battle opens up here with uh, Hippowdon versus Machamp. And KG, maybe you can give us a little thought on your team. Uh, well, as soon as I saw Machamp, I knew I had to go right to Gyarados for Intimidate. Yeah. Because I, I run a special defense on my Hippo. Yeah. It doesn't really take Dynamic Punch too well. Yeah, you, you need Stealth Rock anyway. Yeah. It takes so right, pretty well to Intimidate, though, so... Right here I go for Stealth Rock because he only does 25%. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, in comes Shaman. You do get the Stealth Rock up, though, which is pretty helpful. I think Machamp will probably um, give you some trouble down the line since I, you know, all stall teams have trouble with Machamp. Like, there's no easy way to beat it. Yeah, and the confusion's really hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a 50-50 a lot with Machamp. Like, I think stall can reliably beat it, but the 50-50 just screws everything up. Yeah, and it's always faster than everything you have. Anyway, on uh, the Blissey versus Heatran, I guess you were expecting Explosion? Or were you... Like, how are you playing this right now with uh, I don't Heatran? think he was necessarily expecting it. I think he was just uh, wary no, I mean, of it. I knew it would Stealth Rock. It's just that Blissey can't really do anything to Heatran except Seismic Toss. And here you yeah. actually uh, get the Machamp killed, so that's pretty good for you. Took out a big yeah. threat. I'm surprised he didn't switch, but... Yeah, I, I wouldn't have let my Machamp die against Stall so early. Yeah. Alright, KG takes the early lead here, though, and he still pretty much got momentum. Again, this Tyranitar, this is O oh, Dragon Dance variety, but Fortress can still... Yeah, I thought it was Choice Band or Scarf. Yeah. So and now it has... Hippo, so. Yeah, so now it has plus two. KG could be in trouble, and now we see Ice Punch, which is uh, not very common, but KG takes the hit, so. I guess it's pretty good for Gliscor, who's pretty, a lot, he's still pretty common, I guess, in uh, yeah. EPT. I always forget that uh, in Gen 4, they run ma like near max speed. I'm so used to Gen 5 now. Yeah. Also, if he has a, a Shookaberry, he could uh, live one of Flygon's Earthquakes and... Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. I know one of the... Um... Not even. I actually think at full health it lives uh, anyway. Yeah. I remember... Um, we were talking about this earlier, though, but the Gliscors, when you see them in DP, like the first thing we thought, we're like, what does this thing even do? Yeah, I forgot completely. <laughs> right there, anyway, I, get, I get my yeah. Toxic Spikes up right there because my Hippodon was in great shape. Yeah. That's good definitely that good. That means up. uh that means Shaman can't really stay in for too long. Yeah. Like it can't power up with growth. It kinda has to switch uh, around. Right now KG's been doing a pretty pretty solid job of using Tyranitar to kill things. Yeah. And he's actually really put a wall in it that Blissey's two things that really threaten Blissey out or he trained into Machamp, and he's seen two things out of the wall, so this is working out pretty well. Now, what's your Blissey moveset? Um, let's see, I have uh, Soft Boiled, Toxic, Seismic Toss, and Aromatherapy. So that pretty much reliably beats Zapdos one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, yeah, as long as I can predict. Yeah. I think matchups like these always uh, boil down to 50-50s, pretty much. Yeah, I, I remember watching a uh, Smogan tour in the past where it was, 
I feel like it was Obi or someone, but there was a Moltres. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And the Moltres end up winning. <laughs> that battle was like one of the longest I've ever seen. Oh, I know. It stretched the tour out for another like two hours. I think it was uh, Barris against Obi. Yeah, yeah. And then he went on to play Infinity, and Infinity didn't use Stealth Rock, so Moltres kind of shit on him. Yeah. yeah. Moltres was pretty good. Um, it was decent, I guess. I don't know what set I would run. I'd probably run a Roost Sub. Yeah. But... So anyway, here we see, uh, thanks to Aromatherapy, Hippodon's alive again and has has a good shot at walling some stuff here. Yeah, and then we already saw it take the Ice Punch at plus two earlier, so this really isn't too bad for Hippo. Yeah. I kind of lucked out that he didn't have uh, Heat Wave or Hidden Power Grass or anything before I was able to slack off all the damage from Ice Punch. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a pretty safe move there, just going to Fortress. I don't think... I guess Enzo really just wants to kill something here, but... Yeah, now you can see that the uh, the toxic spikes are coming in handy since K Shaman normally would uh be able to do some damage. Now it really can't, though. Yeah. And I guess Enzo is going to set up growth because it's really all you can do at this point, but I think it just shows that you have to be ready for... You can't be careless with your uh, Pokemon. I, I kind of feel he was somewhat careless with the champ. Oh, definitely. I think if he had kept Machamp, he would have had a good shot at winning. I mean, everybody knows how good Machamp is. Not just against yeah. Stahl, but against every every kind of team. Uh, it was a bad team matchup, but um, you can't play careless against Stahl. Yeah. Yeah, he would have done better with Leech Seed on Shaman. Yeah. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think he kind of wasted Machamp, and he also could have done some more damage with Zapdos, but he uh, was a little careless there, too, but what can you do? Hey, KG, is this a stall team that you had posted, or is this a uh, different This is the same one. Same one, so it has Rotom as the last. Yep. Rotom probably would have seen more play if uh, if Enzo had kept his Machamp alive. Yeah. That would have given Shaman a lot of opportunities to set up a growth and start seed flare spamming. Yeah. So. I don't use stall much, but normally I imagine how they beat it is uh, spamming Intimidate and switching between Rotom and Gyarados. Yeah. Hip out on two, but not that much teams. in this case since it's a uh, special defense. What were you going to say? I've seen a lot of stall teams that don't carry the Gyarados and they just get 6 0'd by the champ. Yeah. The confusion hit. Uh, it's annoying. You, your only way to really hurt it is right away is the Will O' Wisp from R Rotom, but it has long and payback. So I run Shadow Ball on my Rotom. You don't even run. You just run Shadow Ball Thunderbolt. Yeah. And Rest Off. have the Toxic Spikes. Mhm. Mm I always, th I always thought that set was uh, the best to use. Yeah. It's good for other Rotom. Yeah, is, I think the common Rotom for Rest Talk was uh, Thunderbolt Will O' Wisp. I and only used Will O' Wisp back when uh, when Latios was around, and everybody used Scarf Tar. But recently, I don't really uh, I don't use WoW. It's kind of funny that you, you would uh, use Will O' Wisp over Shadow Ball in a Latias metagame. Yeah, true, but it's not really directly about Latias. It's what what was used because of Latias. Yeah, yeah, Shadow doesn't really hit. Latias hard anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So Enzo's last Pokemon, Lantern, falls down here. I think maybe it's just kind of a test team, but KG played a solid game with Stall here. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't catch if it had sub or not, but if it did, he could have actually brought it out earlier before Toxic Spikes and maybe done some damage. Yeah, I would assume it's sub charge beam, but. I mean, 101 subs beat Blissey for the most part. Yeah, when, yeah. when Hippo still had the Toxic on it. It could yeah, have some damage. definitely. So, I mean, I mean um, this was a uh, a pretty interesting battle. Like it was a six zero, but I don't think it was uh that lopsided. It was Enzo had a good shot at winning, but just messed up in a few yeah, I, I spots. Yeah, I think if he played a few moves differently, it could have been a close game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think he actually could have really put your team in trouble with the things we said about Lantern and um the champ, and just the way he kind of played around with uh, Shaman and Zapdos. Yeah. But um, 
I'd like to thank KG for uh, coming on, and uh, hopefully he gave you guys just some insight into his moves. I'm going to wish him luck here. In the, he's in the Smogan Tour Finals versus Blue Wind. Yeah, two, thanks. Uh, two really good battlers. So hopefully he doesn't lose top. again for the uh, fifth time in the row or something. Oh, God. Good luck, yeah. though. Hopefully I'll be back for those commentaries. Yep. Yeah, well, we'd love to have you on again, especially um, an interview after the uh, Smogan Tour ends. Regardless if you win or not, we'd like to interview Sure. So uh, thanks for coming on, and thank you guys for watching. So we'll see you next time.